们大家好，欢迎收看本期《直击美股》，我是 Julie， 在纽交所向您问好。今天是五月十七日，周三。今天股市大幅低开低收，道指、纳指、标普五百在盘中跌幅均超过百分之一，银行板块领跌。美国政治风险快速提升。《纽约时报》报道，特朗普曾在今年二月要求时任 FBI 局长科米停止对前国家安全顾问福林的调查。如果情况属实，这显然是滥用职权。但白宫发言人坚称，特朗普没有要求任何人停止调查。昨天，《华盛顿邮报》等媒体还报道，特朗普与俄罗斯分享机密文件，引发市场焦虑。特朗普很有可能会因为近期的政治丑闻而被弹劾。投资者目前普遍怀疑特朗普能否再顺利进行特朗普交易。在财报方面，明天阿里巴巴将公布企业财报。今天原油价格持续了昨日的涨幅，欧佩克考虑将延长原油减产时间至明年三月，相较之前的减产时间多出三个月。纵观全球，受到美国政治风险提升的影响，欧洲股市和亚洲市场大体收低。更多详细资讯，请关注今天的交易员分析。Good morning. My name is Scott Rudd, the Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's morning call. It is、uh, 7:57 on Wednesday, and last night some news hit again out of Washington. Seems like we get it every single day. This time,、um, about how Trump、uh, potentially, allegedly told、um, Comey to、uh, back off the Flynn investigation, and there's some kind of memo. So I would be listening to the headlines about. The memo, whether they find it or not. Either way, futures got hit last night, and now they're down 10, 12 handles. Overseas, Europe's down small, Asia's down small. They're 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 all there's some red arrows. None of them have crashed down like two percent, three percent, one percent, you know. And they've actually been acting better than our market. That's been pretty lethargic. So the chance that so for today we got to figure out, you know, what levels hold. Does the trade change? Do we have to really pare down risk? Are there opportunities? You know, with this type of down open. So let's get right to、uh, the S and P cash. You know, let me. You know, this is your overall bigger chart. This is、uh, your, you know, French elections gap up, and then this has been the range we've been in for almost two weeks plus with no real traction. So let's take a you know a real closer look here so you can see it.、Um, right now we are opening below, okay, this upper area. Okay, so we are below twenty three ninety three. Okay, you do have the the twenty one day that has been coming up. Okay, that right there is at、uh, I think twenty three eighty five. So this is twenty three eighty five. This is、um, you know this would be a level that would be very constructive for the active bulls to hold. We're probably really close to that.、Um, if it gets below it, you know you could see、uh, uh, you know some stops get triggered and it can come all the way down to where we were here, which is around twenty three eighty. Then the question is, you know. Does it pull one of these where it stops everyone out and then closes okay? Does it, or does it come here, stop everyone out, and leave a big hole in the overall, you know, upper range, and then all of a sudden, you know, potentially, you know, we、we'll、have to、uh, reduce some risk and get back to more tactical and active versus holding, you know,、uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten longs like we've been doing pretty much since you know the gap up after the French election and and obviously prior to that. So at this point. You know, I would deem it very impressive if we held 23.85 and then reclaimed、um, 23.93, but I'm not so sure that's going to happen. I'm going to have to look for clues.、Um, small caps have definitely been lethargic. You know, last time the the, the S and P came to 2,400, this the I W M was above 1,4150. Now we're still at we were 2,400 yesterday, and look how much lower it is. So it looks like some, you know, some some of the streets definitely losing.、Um, You know the the pro growth.、Um, I don't know reality or not, or whether it is a reality or not, but losing faith in it. I guess that's the word. So the question is, does this 21 day does this support continue to hold or not? This is 136.98. This is 137.62. So you know anywhere around this 137 ish, I would think has to hold. If you get a close below 137, you know that would probably give some some clues that the street really doesn't think that you know anything's going to happen pro growth wise and. You know, and etc. etc. And、um, you know, again, volatility probably increases. XLF also, you know, lagged last time. The, you know, the S and P was at 2,400. The XLF was at highs. This time, with the you know the S and P at 2,400, look how far down it is. So the question is, does this spot hold? You know, so for the XLF, I would use 2,343 as、um, as your support. If we're to close below that. I would say you know you got to be careful because then again everyone's going to start talking about how 
you have this um, you know head and shoulders top pattern with um, you know the left shoulder the head the right shoulder and then this would be a big neckline that we'd have to figure out whether it holds or not moving forward you know there's still a lot of people saying the market's going to correct into the summer and the and you know etc so if that's going to be the case you know the the small caps in the XLF will give us clues of that if we're going to stay in this range you're going to you know then chances are they don't break and we've a lot of the same another big key is the Qs the Qs have been really strong you know you take a close up look here it's been above the 8 day it's extended so the question is you know does the 8 day continue to hold the 8 day is down here um, you have yesterday's low at 138.99 if it gets and stays below 138.99 this 138.50 is really you know key for me last time we came below and came back above it I remember that Thursday shakeout and we've been above it since so you know you can get to the 8 day and still be strong but if you lose the eight day, you could still, you know, he's still strong, but you know, it just means the speed is um, is less. 以上就是本期节目所有内容，感谢您的收看，祝您交易顺利，我们下期节目再见。